The Warriors-Wizards game had a pretty exciting ending the other night. Bradley Beal, Steph Curry, the league's leading scorers, trying to will their team into a better playoff position, so let's just get into it. Okay, here, Rui Hachimura drives baseline as Wiggins gets sniped, then is challenged at the rim by Draymond. Ref raises his hand for a foul, then says, wait, actually, jump ball, change my mind, leaving Hachimura completely confused, so Draymond kindly lets him know, all ball. Draymond gets a lot of hate for his antics and inability to make a jump shot nowadays, but he's a great defender and this is a clutch defensive play. So the Warriors end up getting the ball back and Steph Curry goes to the other end. The Warriors get the switch they want. Isolation on Berton. Steph with a tough reverse right-handed layup. On the other end, Beal takes one, two, three, four. Four steps but it doesn't matter as Draymond gets the block and then the greatest free throw shooter of all time extends the lead to three for the Warriors. Then down the court the other way Beal gets the ball off this screen draws in three defenders then kicks it out to Russ for an open look. Russ bricks that but it somehow finds its way back to Beal who skirts to the corner pulls the trigger gets knocked in the head by Wiggins and splashes in the and one three pointer. He gives a petty little wink to Draymond Wiggins probably wants to die and then he goes something something let's go. <laughs> but now you have a 90% free throw shooter putting the Wizards up one on the line Warriors have to call timeout to draw up a play. Now I want y'all to witness one of the saddest huddles I've ever seen Russ leaves at the beginning beginning not many hands go in to start with but does this really look like a team that just went up with six seconds left I mean honestly it the huddle disintegrates before it even gets broken up and it seems like they're even expecting to lose still I mean the Warriors do have Steph Kelly Oubre <clears throat> uh anyways uh I don't remember what I was saying, but off the timeout, Steve Kerr draws up an amazing Steph Curry decoy play. I'll free spray it right here just to show you how good the decoy is for Wizards players paying attention to Steph Curry. And Damian Lee gets basically a wide open look at the hoop. He hesitates and turns it over. You can see him regretting all of his life choices that led him up to this moment. Overall, just probably not a great time to be Damian Lee right now. Steve Kerr's probably thinking, does my team hate me? We let them get the lead with a four point play. Then I draw up the perfect play to regain the lead and we throw the ball away. Now I gotta go back on Twitter where people are telling me I'm a bum, that I can't win without four all-stars on my team. God, I fucking hate it here. <laughs> Anyway, Steph gets a final heave at the buzzer, but how often do you see a game decided by a four point game winning play where the team actually needed four points to win the game? I don't know if it's ever happened. I mean, I'm sure it has, but I can't say when. Also, interesting side note, in the Warriors-Wizards rematch in DC, the Warriors were given another open layup opportunity with the game on the line, and this time Wiggins misses it. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like um, subscribe if you want to see more or don't I mean I don't care I mean do what you want don't let me tell you what to do I mean leave hate comments if you want give it a dislike I don't I, don't, I really don't care report my channel